Hey guys, it's Lizzie, and I'm making a quick video because I donated blood today. This is the bandage thing they gave me. I think it's a really, really, really cute pink color. I was really excited. Listen to your heart, and it has little headphones in 2010, and give blood. And I didn't know that this really cute neon pink bandage and this t-shirt was going to come with this, along with, oh, and this is where they pricked my finger, a free massage, a free sandwich at Chick-fil-A, a, um, like, we have this public train where I live, so I get, like, 30 days on it for free. Like, there's all these crazy gifts you get that I didn't even know about, so I feel kind of good that, like, I went in not knowing I was going to get all this stuff, so I went in because I just wanted to save lives. And then just, like, I got it as a reward rather than I'm bribed into giving blood because of it. So, anyways, my mom always gives blood, and so... They were giving blood, blood at my school, and I heard about it on Facebook the night before, and you have to have this form signed, because I'm not 17 yet. And so then, my mom was like, oh, the blood meal is coming to church tomorrow. I'm like, oh my gosh, can I give blood? And she's like, yeah. And basically, to give blood, you have to be 16 years old with parent consent. I think that when you're 17, you don't have to have parent a parent consent. That's what the person acted like. But I think at school, people have said you have to be 18 without parent consent. Anyways, I don't think anyone's parent is going to be like, no, you can't give blood. And also, you have to be over 100 pounds. And I'm, I am over 100 pounds. I reached like 100 pounds like last year, so yay. But you have to be over 110 pounds to give one pint of blood. So I weigh less than 110 pounds. I weigh like 107 or something. I don't even know how much I weigh. I might weigh 112, but whatever. I weigh, I, I'm pretty sure I weigh under 110, and so they could only take like two-thirds of one pint, two-thirds of a pint or something. So I only saved two lives, but I'm still like really, really excited. And I took like a picture with my um, t-shirt and my little pink thingy from my Facebook, and so I'm really excited to talk about it with you guys. So my mom told me that the finger, a finger prick hurts more than the actual like needle going into you. And I would normally agree with her after going through giving blood, except that, like, they finger pricked me really well because it didn't hurt at all. Like, I don't know, these people need to, like, pass it on to the, my podiatrist how to not, like, kill your finger when they prick it. But anyway, so they prick your finger and then they, like, squeeze it to get, like, all these, like, to get, make, get vials of blood to check for, like, your iron level and stuff. And that didn't hurt when they were squeezing it. And so then they, like, ask you all these questions like, are you pregnant? Have you ever had sex with a prostitute? Stuff like that. And I answered no to like every single question. Oh, and also if you've had a body piercing within like one year, then you can't give blood. But pretty much, I don't think anyone should have a problem with it. If you have AIDS or hemophilia, then you can't give blood. And the fact that like people who know they have these diseases would even go, it's kind of like weird. Like. Why would you be giving someone your blood if you have a blood disease? It's kind of silly. They have you like sit down and you get to like pick which arm and I just like did my right because my mom was sitting across from me and I wanted to be across from her and she was doing her left so I, I did my right. And they like the needle thing. Like you can't tell it's a needle because I was like looking because I, I didn't want to but I did. I like, I was like, I need to see it. And it wasn't really a needle, it was like a white tube, but I'm like, how are they going to stick that in my arm? But then I guess like the needle comes through it, and so I didn't really see it, but it hurt a little when they were putting it in. I was like, oh! But they had this like thing to squeeze, because you're supposed to like squeeze it to pump the blood in during it, kind of. You don't like pump it, you just like squeeze it every once in a while to keep the blood going. And I squeezed it, and it made me feel better, and then once something was in... It didn't hurt that much, like it hurt a little, but it didn't hurt like, ow, needle jabbing, stabbing my arm, like it didn't hurt like that at all. What they had was they had like this plastic latex strap around it, like squeezing your arm, and that hurt as much as, if not more, than the actual needle inside it. And it was really good because the pain from the thing like squeezing your skin, you could think of that pain and then think of like the kind of, um, I'm trying to think of the word for what the pain was. It was kind of like an aching pain. It wasn't like a stabbing pain. So you could like take your mind off the aching pain of the needle by like thinking of how the strap's hurting you. And I'm th it, w it really wasn't that bad like at all. I was like reading the coupon things they gave me while they, it was going on. I was talking to my mom and the nurse. And everyone there was really, really, really nice. It was like a blood mobile. So it was like in a bus. Everything was air conditioned. And it was in for 10 minutes, and whenever I pumped the thing, I was squeezing it too hard at first, so it made, like, the needle hurt more. 
so don't squeeze it too hard because you really don't need to. Um, afterwards, when they took the needle out, it kind of hurt, but it hurt less than when they put it in. And then they have you like um, put like a gauze pad on it, and you have to hold it with two fingers and hold your hand up for like a minute, and then you take it down. And then they like wrap the bandage, and I got a really cute pink one, and I love this bandage, and I have to take it out like really soon. I was supposed to take it off like 20 minutes ago, but I wanted to make this video, and I was editing another one, so I kept it on, and it's really, really cute. But I think I'm going to keep the bandage. It's not, it's not unsanitary to keep a bandage. I like it a lot. But then, after they had the bandage on, bandage on and everything, they had like, this huge selection of snacks. And I was really excited because I'm like, free food! Because that was the only thing I knew I was going to get out of it. And then they had like all these drinks to choose from. They had like Powerade, orange juice, apple juice, water. I chose my Powerade. And then I got like cookies and Fritos. So it was, it was really good. It was like these golden Oreo cookies. And afterwards, I wasn't dizzy at all, and I'm always, like, the one to get dizzy and stuff, and I wasn't dizzy, so you guys probably aren't going to get dizzy. And afterwards, it hurt for a little, like, it didn't, like, hurt, like, stabbing, it just, like, ached a little from the needle, from where the needle was, like, right here, like, hurt a little, but it wasn't that big of a deal, and... I would recommend if you're going to like give it at school or something because I know the blood mobile comes to most schools and most people give blood because they want to get, get out of class and I mean hey you're saving three lives so who cares why you're saving three lives you're saving three lives that's what import that's what's important and so I would eat breakfast because you need to have food in your body because they're like, taking so much blood out and oh and also like I was looking at the blood coming out while it was happening and I, I didn't get dizzy at all like when I was younger I remember watching my mom give blood and it made me really dizzy but when I saw my own blood it didn't make me feel dizzy at all and then they had me like sit down for like five minutes before I could leave and, and then I missed like the entire sermon because of the whole blood giving blood but I guess it was, it was really worth it um I feel really happy that I gave blood now I have a free 30 minute massage and a free sandwich and all this stuff, but a free train ride. I can take the train to the massage, I guess. <laughs> um, overall, it was a really positive experience. If you hate needles, um, I don't think you're going to like giving blood. And I feel like because I felt so calm and I'm like, this isn't going to hurt, I did really good. It was, like, my mom described it and it was a different kind of pain than she described. Like, it was more like an achy pain than, like, a jabbing pain. So, if you, like, don't cry at shots and you're okay with that, I think you should go ahead and do it. It really doesn't hurt that much. I thought it was going to hurt so much more, but it really doesn't hurt. Um, it hurts less than some shots that I've gotten because, like, um, I was getting this shot for, like, some STD cancer, and they, like, put it in and then like, jabbed it around. You know when they do that? I hate that. That hurt more than this. So go ahead and give blood. Do not be scared of the pain. It's really not that bad. Um, and the whole time I was thinking, I'm spending 10 minutes being a little uncomfortable, and I'm saving three people, well, in my case, two people's lives, which is huge. And in a few days, I can call them up, and they can tell me what type of blood I have, which is really cool because I want to know what type, because I've never known that. And they also tell you your cholesterol level, so it's kind of like a physical. They tell you your iron level, your cholesterol level, all that stuff. And if your iron is low, I know my friend Gracie, like she tried to give blood at school and she couldn't because her iron was too low, and my mom's is low like a lot. And so what you can do is just eat meat and beans and stuff like that. So if you're vegetarian, you might have a problem. Because I know my mom, like, she's not vegetarian, but she, like, eats really healthy. Like, she eats salads and stuff, and she doesn't eat, like, meat that often. So that could kind of be a problem. Oh, and the other thing is that you're not supposed to run after you give blood. You can't run that day. So I can't go running today, and I really, really wanted to because we would cross-country meet on Tuesday. But that's okay. So go give blood and save three people's lives and go eat a lot of food so that you weigh more than 110 pounds. <laughs> and don't get um, a piercing because you can't get your blood, you can't get blood for a year after any piercing. And I want to get my nose pierced, so you can give blood every, I think it is six weeks. Anyways, but it was a really, really positive experience. I feel like it did a really good deed and everyone there was so nice. So. I encourage all of you to go get blood and just like give back to people because you're saving a life and I think that's really cool. So um, have a nice day, weekend, life.
Nej. Bye.